Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a blog post and combine it into a landing page. Okay, so how essentially you can make blog post landing pages. Now we all know the benefits of having a landing page. We all know the benefits of having a blog post. We're going to show you how to do it together. Now, for those who don't know, uh, the purpose of a landing page is to convert customers, to convert visitors into customers. The purpose of having a blog is to convert visitors into informed potential customers. So essentially, the idea is usually you would take a visitor, send them to a blog so they kind of understand and, and become educated on a concept, and then you take that new understand uh, understood user who understands now what's going on, and you send that user to a landing page. But what if you created a landing page within your blog post so that you can actually make sales? So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So what software we're using that's going to make this possible is rocketwebbuilder.com. And Rocket Web Builder, you have the ability to create create websites, landing pages, funnels, uh, email marketing software is inside of it. Uh, you can even create membership websites. The list goes on and on and on. But what we're going to do here is you could see the different templates and stuff, but that's not what we're you know showing. We're just showing simply the software uh, that you could go ahead and get started. But regardless, let me show you how to actually do it. This is the software that I'm using. So Rocket Web Builder. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So how to do this? What you need to do is you need to first create a blog post. So the blog posts typically look like this. You're going to add your content. The same way I've added content to other blog posts, kind of like, for example, this one right here, which steroids are used for leaning out. This is a blog post that I created. And you can see here I added tons of different information along with some other data. Okay. After you create your actual content, it's time to sell the user and create a landing page around it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create the content. After that, you're going to go in here and hit add block. And this section here is where you're going to add different blocks. And if you notice here, these blocks are pre-built sections for every single website. And if you notice how websites are built or landing pages specifically, they're first built with a hero. Then they have the services section. Then they have call to actions. After that, they have image and text section. Then they have more text. Then they have maybe a video section. Then they have another call to action, right? Then they have the menu and pricing. Then they have, you know, another call to action or an, an opt-in. That's essentially the components of a landing page. Well, you can add all those components straight up in your blog post. So let me go ahead and show you how this is done. So I'm going to go over here. And after, ideally, I would have a whole bunch of blogged content. So let me just show you. I'll just grab a bunch of sections for text here. And I'll grab like another container here. And I'll duplicate this container. Okay, and paste it here. So imagine this was my blog post with like a bunch of text. I would start off like this. I would just go over here, add block, and I would find a hero block. So the hero is the top. Let's say I'm picking this one. Okay, and then I would, you know, obviously I'm going to have to change the different fonts and things like that. So I would go for like a smaller font, maybe like a 13, or actually let's go for like a 20. Why not? Something like this. I would decrease my line height, make it look a little bit more appealing. Then I would go over here and hit add block again. And what after my uh, hero, I would go for like a video block, right? So something that explains the product, like in a video format. Then after that, I would add another block of, let's just say, image image and text, right? So I get to describe what the product is about through some image and text. So something like, for example, like this, okay? And then after that, I would have, let's say, my call to action as an example. So the way I would do that is I would go to the call to action. I would actually find which one I want to use. So let's say I'm selling an ebook within my blog post and then boom, I have my ebook section here along with my spacer, all that kind of stuff. I have my button here. I'll actually change the color. Let's say, let's go with a, uh, yeah, let's go with like a, a lighter blue, something like this. And then after the call to action, maybe some people have questions about it or they want to see some testimonials or whatever the case may be, right? So I'll open up here, testimonials, and I can add like a testimonial section, you know? So all this thing right here, after my blog post, I added effectively a landing page that works. And if I wanted to preview this, I could just call this test landing funnel, right? Or landing blog post. Okay, I'm going to hit update, or excuse me, let me go ahead and add a category. We'll call this the test category. Okay, just like that, and hit update. I can go ahead and go to my website, 
howtoboosttestosterone.org. Look at the blog post, right? And this is the blog post with the text. And then once I scroll down, guess what? Now we have the full on landing page right here. So you see how awesome that looks. And when anybody who comes to visit the actual blog post, whether it be through SEO or paid marketing or whatever, and they're reading, guess what? They're going to see a whole landing page that's used to convert customers. All right. So that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace out. Bye.